We've covered coffee quite a bit on our channel, so I'm not going to bore you with the same kind of information here. But in this week's Simply Complex podcast, we revisit Andy's experience of traveling all the way to Oaxaca to learn about how coffee is grown and harvested, how to roast the beans perfectly, and how to taste the difference between various coffee. Andy also learned about the various brewing methods used to make coffee. So we already know about the bean itself. But here, I wanted to cover some of the wacky and wild trivia around coffee. Have you ever wondered why the English are still wild about their tea, while we Americans are solid coffee drinkers through and through? It may have to do with the Boston Tea Party. In the 1700s, tea was just as important here as it was in England. In fact, King George III figured that tea drinking was such a part of everyday colony life that it was a perfect avenue for additional taxation. It was thought that the colonists would be willing to pay that extra tax instead of give up their daily cup of tea. Well, the king guessed wrong, and before you know it, all of Boston Harbor was a giant tea bag. From that point forward, it was deemed unpatriotic to drink tea, and coffee shops popped up all over the place in the colonies. This sentiment became so pervasive that coffee was declared the national drink of the colonized United States by the Continental Congress. Now, coffee has also been banned at times throughout history. It was banned in Mecca in 1511, as it was believed to stimulate radical thinking and unlawful gathering. It was deemed satanic by the clergy in Europe during the 16th century, but it was later blessed by Pope Clement VIII after he developed a taste for it. In Constantinople, now Istanbul, the Ottoman king banned coffee and punished coffee drinkers. The first offense garnered a beating. The second offense meant you were sewn into a leather bag and thrown into the Bosphorus Strait. In Prussia in 1777, Frederick the Great banned coffee, saying it interfered with the country's beer consumption. And Frederick encouraged his countrymen to wake up with a stout glass of beer. Prost! Here's some other trivia to put in your satchel. The Italians discovered coffee in 1683 when they defeated the Turks during the Battle of Vienna. The Turks left behind some of their coffee, which was way too bitter for the Italians. So they added some warm milk and named it after a capuchin friar. Cappuccino! The most expensive coffee comes in at $50 a cup. Black ivory coffee is made from Arabica coffee beans, consumed by elephants, and collected from their waste. It is said that the special taste of black ivory coffee is created by the enzymes in the elephant's stomach. The coffee beans are digested within 15 to 70 hours, and then harvested from the elephant's dung. There's your idea for a stocking stuffer. During Turkish wedding ceremonies, grooms were made to vow to always provide their brides with coffee. Failure to do so could result in divorce. In 1906, a Belgian man living in Guatemala by the name of George Washington invented instant coffee. Not to be confused with the other George Washington who cut down the cherry tree and founded our country. Coffee beans aren't beans, they're actually fruit pits. And finally, a lethal dose of coffee is about 100 cups. So please stop yourself at 99. That's all for me. Please be sure to check out our Simply Complex Coffee episode on Apple Podcasts or wherever you like to listen. We also have everything we talked about posted on our blog at makeeverything.tv. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and perhaps you will become our 1 million subscriber. It's coming. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and check out other content we have covering a wide variety of topics. Also, if you've enjoyed these series, consider supporting us on Patreon. We are largely a fan-funded channel and depend on the support of our viewers in order to keep our series going. Thanks for watching.